Start the party. Hey guys, and welcome to Killing Soup Cans in probably one of the most annoying chapters. Um, for this entire set piece, there are going to be infinitely spawning enemies, except the Rome Elves. Rome Elves are static. Once you kill them, they're gone. But I always found that infinite enemies is sort of like this crutch that game developers have. Like, okay, we put in infinite enemies to sort of push the player to stay in a certain location, because if he goes further in, he's dead. Because uh, he's just going to get outnumbered. Uh, I've had... It took me a while to actually figure out it was infinite enemies, because I started running towards the back. And then working my way up, and suddenly there were enemies behind me. Uh, that shot me in the back and killed me, so I was like, what the hell? Where the hell did these guys come from? You're going up the ladder. Again, there are no shotgun drops here. Uh, so, <laughs> at the end you'll see me... I think it's literally the entire last couple of minutes of this fight. I'm just gonna melee all the enemies to death. Uh, hopping from cover to cover, because I have no shotgun ammo left. Um, what else is there to say about this chapter? It's it's just annoying. Uh, it's not really challenging, it's just annoying that you constantly have to be on the defensive, because the enemies are respawning, uh, especially with shotgun only. It just wrecks on my ammo count. I really, really screwed up that dodge, but thankfully I get his backpack, which deals a lot of damage and also almost kills the other Romanov. So you just need to pop in one shot. And uh, if there's one thing uh, that I realized while watching this, like I'm seeing myself in critical health and the ARS bar filling again, it's really hard to tell, because uh, sometimes if you're running out of ARS and you're in critical health, uh, you can get auto ARS again afterwards, even though you're like in cover and you don't activate it. Uh, it's a bit of a weird mechanic, and it's the only thing that I wish Mikami would have changed. Vanquish to me is this rare example of an almost perfect game in which I would probably not really change a lot um, but just out of the top of my head here almost out of ammo I'm gonna have to try and kill these guys behind cover with just a melee but thankfully shotgun melee goes through walls which is good because it has a little shockwave effect but yeah what I would change about Vanquish it's not a lot I would w for one I would probably insert letter based uh, scoring system aside alongside the number based so for instance with each chapter you could like aim it's kind of like how Ninja Gaiden does it like in Ninja Gaiden Black you have the karma system so you have a score that you can aim towards but if you reach a certain score you also get a certain rank uh, and this might have given some players that are not really into the numbers because numbers can go infinite technically depending on how you play but it also would have given players like this uh, little drive, like, okay, I'm going to go for S rank, or I don't know, Vanquish rank, the V rank, uh, or the VX rank. Uh, I would have added something like that. I would have added a couple of unlockables, probably. Uh, at least unlock the super suit that you get at the end in the final chapter that you can just play around with. Um, I would have disabled trophies and ranks, obviously, if you've got that one. Maybe unlocked, uh, maybe unlocked New Game Plus, or you can just play through it with the max upgraded weapons if you're on easy, normal, or hard. I probably would have added another difficulty setting between hard and god hard, because the jump from hard to god hard is insane. Uh, not only does our enemies completely focus on you now, you gain, I think, double damage, your regeneration is doubled, your ARS is cut, I think, in six, because it's six times less. I think it's six times or five. Uh, you also have no upgrades available, there are less rocket launchers, it's just so much additions compared to one simple playthrough that I'm like, okay, it's a bit much, uh, even for the veterans, like, it, it, it would have been nice if there was a little difficulty in between. Uh, what else would I have changed? I would have changed auto ARS. Uh, I'm not sure how I would have done that, maybe I would have just implemented it, or maybe I would have disabled it on Godhard, like, okay, it's a crutch for new players. Um, Oh, <laughs> here I just run into the little, little rocket. How I survived this, by the way, is beyond me. Uh, but yeah, auto ARS is like this crutch for new players. Like, oh, they get hit, so we uh, activate the slow-mo for you so that you can uh, get away safely. I would have changed that and maybe, maybe uh, inserted a different way of activating auto ARS. Because now it's a bit annoying that the only way to activate it is either being in the air or dodging. There's no real way to activate it while being in a standing position which can really screw it up sometimes. But those are all really minor, minor gripes with the game's uh, combat. 
Uh, maybe I would have changed a couple of weapons because there's too many just shoot weapons. Because you got the assault rifle, the heavy machine gun, and then suddenly you also have the boost machine gun, the armor piercing pistol. They all fulfill the same roles. Um, with different variations, obviously, but still the same roles. Uh, what else would I change? Yeah, maybe some. Uh, I'm just a real big sucker for alternate outfits and artwork, unlockable artwork, unlockable making of, like stuff like that. And it's a really big shame that. Here, I'm <laughs> considering sniping that guy, but I don't. Sometimes you'll see me switch to a different weapon to uh, hit scan enemies to see, um, like, mouse over them so I can see how much health they have because a shotgun sometimes doesn't allow that. Uh, yeah, different costumes. Like, I mean, this is in the day that Bayonetta was big. Look, just give us an angelic outfit, maybe, or something like that. Uh, or a, 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 w a version where his helmet is always open. You always see Sam's face. Like, there's so many different options available. Again, how did I survive this? I have no idea. Um, so yeah, mostly cosmetic stuff, like additions, a different ranking, uh, an additional ranking system. Like keep the ranking system in place, but just add that other version as well. And a big change to auto ARS. Uh, I probably would just disable it on the highest setting. It's just stupid that it's there. It's an extra gimp, basically. Okay, you got hit. Now we also take away, as a punish, all your energy. So basically, when you when you're hit, you're dead, uh, unless you get really lucky or a big distance between you and the enemy. It's just, it's not fun. Like here, here it happens again. Like I'm, I'm in critical health, I regen my ARS, and it immediately goes away. It's just this double punish that I feel is a bit excessive. Um, what else? I'm doing this out of the top of my head, and didn't really prepare to talk about this. I think I think that's it. Um, maybe like you could add a playthrough which has no other soldiers. Or stuff like that. Um, aside from that, yeah, it's a perfect game. Uh, the, the bosses are good. I really like the fact that the final boss is kind of like two bosses at the same time, but really shows just how different of an encounter that is. So yeah, I really like that. And here, this part, yeah, it's just jumping from cover to cover. You don't have to kill these guys in the, the floaty tanks. You just gotta wait them out and blow up that barrel to ease your life a bit. And after that, we have the first two drill Romanovs pretty standard affair you can, uh, because it's at the end of the chapter I can really go ham with using all my grenades and stuff which is pretty cool I like uh, going ham <laughs> um, yeah otherwise yeah maybe an added boss fight but the bosses do what they do um, we, ha we have a really good uh, melee boss we have a good ranged boss everything I feel that this game should have had is there uh, here you just see EMP Hit them in the back for extra damage. I'm just EMP sliding. I'm really toying with these guys. Uh, I think I died like four or five times in this part just because I was just screwing with them too much. Which I shouldn't have done. But hey, I want to have some fun too. Which this run is, by the way. Don't get me wrong. Like this run is probably one of the most fun... <laughs> oh god, okay, that was really close. Uh, probably one of the most fun things I've done in a while. Uh, outside of the next chapter, obviously, which is going to be hell. Uh, chapter 3.2 is one of those, like, there's a couple of chapters in this game that are really, really, really difficult and got hard no matter how good you are or what you run you're doing. And the next one is one of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video as much as I may have. Yeah, let let's say that again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Yeah, hey, in one go, sort of. How many deaths? I think 16? Something like that. 12! Again 12! Okay. Hmm. Alright. I'll take it. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to get a positive score in this <laughs> run through. Like, uh, if we're, I think we're going to hit sub 10k, so. Alright guys, see you later. Hey! Do your job!